Hello, hello. Welcome to another episode of The Door Hardware Nerds. Um, we've got a very special guest today. Um, very special. Yes, very special. <laughs> uh, Mr. Uh, Joey, how you doing? I'm doing great. How about you, Benji? Good, good. I've got one question for you to kick off the show today. All right. Are you a door hardware nerd? My name's Joey Mayers, and I'm an extremely judgy door hardware nerd. Yes, and proud of it, right? Proud of yeah, it. Why yeah, not? Definitely, definitely. Everybody's judgmental. I might as well do it with door hardware. Yeah, might as well. So why don't you uh, introduce yourself to the nerds and uh, tell us a little bit about what you do. Yeah, sure. Uh, my name is Joey Mayers. I am with the Centrios br new brand with inside of Asa Abloy, and uh, I've been in the industry. Centrios. Centrios. Been in the industry for, I don't know, 20, 20 plus years. Uh, 20 plus years? 20 plus years, man. You start when you're like four or something? Like Eight, 18. 18? Okay. Yeah, I'm right, 40 man. this year, right? <laughs> Pretty, actually, before 18, but people say when you're a kid, that don't count. Yeah. Well, I grew up in the company. I guess you grew up in the company. I, yeah, I think it counts. Does, I think that counts. I think yeah, it counts. Yeah. Let's count it. Okay. So. My dad owned a locksmith company, and I grew up in there, and eventually ended up taking over the company from him. I owned that for 10 years, and then I uh, sold the company, and what better place to come work than Asa Abloy? Hey. I mean, uh, is, was there a question? <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're glad to have you here. Yeah, I appreciate it. What are you passionate about in this industry? Yeah, um, still super passionate about the locksmith industry. I mean, I, I was sort of a hybrid, we call it, you know, a little yeah. bit of integration, a little bit of locksmith work. Uh, but Which is smart, by the way. Yeah, like, for sure. Yeah. I mean, doors and locks aren't going anywhere, so yeah. might as well have some good locksmiths, right? <laughs> um, but, you know, the locksmith industry, a lot of people don't understand it. It's, it can be very unique. You know, you can be working on a mechanical mortise lock mm -hmm. right now, and 30 minutes from now you're wiring up an automated door and tying it into a card system. You know, so it's kind of one extreme to the other. Yeah, it can um, get really dumb. Not dumb, but, like, it can be really simple work. Right. But, or very complex. And then very complex yeah. so in, try, the, so in the same to, day. Yeah, so trying to find, same, yeah. find someone who like really can do both is, is hard. So I think uh, I think it's a great industry, and I hope to see it grow more. Okay, so you're passionate about the locksmith the industry. The locksmith industry. Yeah. I mean, and door, doors and hardware in general, but yeah. locksmiths just, they, they kind of hold yeah. dear, dear to the heart. Yeah, I mean, think of about our industry and how lost we would be without locksmiths, right? For like sure. It's, such an important job and unfortunately we see less and less locksmiths nowadays but it's yeah. such a big opportunity for these younger door hardware nerds to step in and take over right yeah, yeah you, you would never thought that it was so hard to talk people into teaching them how to break into stuff yeah i mean <laughs> yeah if i was a teenager like i was like hey oh. you want to teach me how to break into things uh, right. <laughs> oh yeah but yeah, there's this thing called integrity right like uh, uh, yeah locksmiths yeah. have mm. to have integrity uh, that's right uh, there's always a caveat. Always right? a catch. <laughs> okay, um, so how long have you been a door hardware nerd, and was there a moment you like knew you were a door hardware nerd? So I've been a door hardware nerd my whole life, but I mean, if I, you grew up in a locksmith family, yeah, you're, but it was like ingrained to you. But right? I thought I was weird. I'm like, why am I so judgy on doors and you know crooked panic bars and and fingerprints on on stuff and. You know, when I came here, that was my aha moment. I'm yeah. like, I'm not alone. <laughs> All right, Joey, what is one piece of advice you would leave someone that's just joining the industry? I don't know. It sounds kind of cliche, but like always listen to, to what people want and, and be more of a solutions type person. Uh, I think that's great. You know, there's there's many, many brands out there. And obviously, I'm a huge fan of Asa Abloy, but there may be times where we don't have the perfect fit. Yeah. And, that, and yeah. that's okay. Um that's that's one big thing, and then I, I, I kind of love standardization. You know, if you, if you pick a product that you really love, as long as that works where you need it to, you can get really proficient at it and know it inside and out. And that, that's okay to be a nerd about it. Yeah, no, I think, uh, I mean, that's how you can really get to know something, right? Right. The hardware industry is so complex at times, so it's really hard to specialize in on something. So if that's you standardize right. on something, it gives you the... Um, the, the ability to really get good at that product. Right. You become right? a craftsman, per se, you know, yeah, with, with your yeah. product and your installation. Yeah, for sure. So take, take pride in your work. Ooh, that's good advice right Love there. It. Take pride in your work. Take pride. I can't tell you. I mean, you see my posts all the time, all the pictures that I post. and like That's, that's very just, prideful. Uh, I, very, 
<laughs> I take pride in my post. No, um, uh, you, you see the lack of pride in the industry nowadays. Right. The lack of integrity with behind their installs or standing behind their jobs. They're just like slapping it on. And I think the the more pride you have in your work, the better of a job you're going to do and the lasting relationship you're going to build with that customer right. as well, right? For sure. Yeah, you know, locksmithing is a trade just like other trades and I, I feel like hopefully we're all coming back around to really respecting the trades yes. and, and this is one that you should get into and It's and a trade forward. revolution, right? It's happening. Yeah, yeah. And there's so much opportunity. Love like, it. I, I can't tell you how many stories I hear of these young uh, professionals going in and buying these old lock shops yeah. and they're like turning them around and like bringing them to the digital era and like just growing like crazy because there's so much opportunity because there's I mean locksmith businesses are yeah. just dropping here there's, and there and so people still need keys right, yeah, right. People there, still hey, need... there's no lack of work if no. you're ready to work you can make some money yeah. and, and have plenty to do yeah no I agree okay Phil I'll, I'll last question and I'll leave it with this and it's a fill in the blank oh my <laughs> Um, you might be a door hardware nerd if you do blank. I mean, I think you're a door hardware nerd if every time you walk through a bad door, you take a picture and your wife says, send it to Benji. <laughs> I mean, I mean, when you got your That's family. Right. Your wife has said that. Yeah, right? my, my wife like sends me pictures from work and says, can you send this to Benji? <laughs> So, yeah, that's a, if, if that doesn't say door hardware, nerd, nothing does. That, that doesn't get more nerdier yeah, than that. Yeah, when you bring right? the family into it. <laughs> yeah, when your family's involved. Yeah. That's awesome. I'm, I'm sorry for them. <laughs> I can't help it. Yeah, actually, the support group that we have, we should actually create a support group for our family, right? They're the yeah. ones that need the real So you have right? all these door hardware nerds, but you don't think about the other thousands of family members that they have drug into it. <laughs> they have to deal with those door hardware nerds. <laughs> That's right. That's funny. Joey, thank you so much hey, for man. your time. It's always Appreciate a pleasure. It. Appreciate it. Thank yeah, you. and um, we'll see you on the next episode. Thanks for watching.